Hi everybody, it's Christina from Card Making Magic. This is the project that I'm going to do today and this is adding gilding flakes to your G cards. So I'm going to use the wired bird cage and I store it on a magnetic sheet just to keep it safe. Now what I need to do is cut this shape out with a die cutting machine. So I need some card to back it onto and I need a sheet of double sided adhesive. And this is sticky on both sides. So with your die, you're just going to cut yourself a piece of card that is big enough to take the, the die. And then you're going to cut another piece of the double-sided adhesive that's exactly the same and that will just fit the die. So with your double-sided sticky sheet, take your backing paper off and this is the sticky side and this is going down onto my card. Make sure you smooth all the bumps out of it. Now on there, you've still got the other backing side on. You're going to lay your die with the cutting edge facing downwards. And whichever die cutting machine you use, you're going to layer up your sandwich and cut that die out. Now once you've cut it, make sure it's cut all the way through. You're going to take away the frame, but don't take any of the other backing papers off just yet. You can take it out of the die and there's your birdcage. Now all you're going to do is pop all these bits out because you don't want to add gilding flakes to these extra little bits. So take them all out, still with the backing paper on, and then you're ready to add the gilding flakes. Now once you've got your shape cut out, this still has the protective backing on it, but you're now ready to add your gilding flakes, and this is how you'll buy them. You'll either get them in little pots, these are from Crafty Notions, or you can get these and these are from Indigo Blue. In the pot, they're all compressed. So what I would suggest you do is get yourself a bigger container and decant the, the gilding flakes into the container because once they've been left for a while, they, they swell up. There's a couple of pots of gilding flakes in there, but you will get a lot for your money. So we're going to do this birdcage in silver and we need to take off the protective sheet. So this now is sticky on this side and all I'm going to do is just add some gilding flakes to the sticky bit and make sure they're all pressed on. Now they will stick to your fingers. Get yourself another sheet of paper and just make sure that all those flakes are stuck to all the double sided adhesive. Once you've pressed all your gilding flakes onto your double sided sheet just put it on a piece of paper and rub your fingers over it just to make sure that everything is pressed in place and don't waste these little bits just pop them back into your your box now this is a detailed sponge it's like a well it's not like a Brillo pad it's soft and squishy and once you've got your flakes on there just take your detailed sponge just run it over your shape and that will bring out all the beauty in the gilding flakes and like I said don't waste any of this just pop it back into your box 
and you can use it again. And there's your bird cage. So there's the bird cage, and I'm now going to start to add this to the card. So there's my white base card, I've just folded it in half, it's just an A4 sheet of paper, I'm going to pop that to one side. But on some pink paper I've matted up some birdcage paper and around that I'm going to add a ribbon and I'm going to glue that in place before I add it to the base card. Now on top of that I'm going to add in a panel and this has got micro beads on it. I'm going to add in a bow to the right hand side. I'm going to add the bird cage and I'm going to pop some little foam pads along the bottom and there and add that to the card. Now it doesn't matter whether you have a bird to go in your cage and whether it sits inside or outside, you can just pretend it's flown away. But pop your bird in if you're going to put your bird in and I've made another little bow that will hold the bird cage in place. And then along this side I'm going to add in some flowers and um, some lace leaves and I'm going to make those so that they frame the bird cage. And this is just a dry run. So I'm going to add in the flowers along the bottom with some lace leaves and this might be just one way that I want to add them but I'm going to go away and glue those in place and then I'll come back to you with the finished card. So we've got the flowers and the lace leaves in place, we've got the bows and I've just added a little piece of card candy to the top just to disguise the knot. And now I'm just going to use a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear Glue and I'm just going to dab this onto the edges of the petals just to add a little bit of, of interest. You don't need a lot, just little dabs of it here and there. And then I'm just going to sprinkle all that with some glitter. And then when you tip off the excess glitter, all this can be brushed off when this glitter, when this glue is dry. And you just need a soft brush just to brush off the glitter. Now once you've done all that, you're now ready to add that to your base card. And I'm adding it to a white card that leaves just a little border around the edge. And again, I'm using the Cosmic Shimmer Dries Clear glue. And just press that into place. And then with some foam pads, I'm just going to add the sentiment. Just going to add that to my card and I'm going to place it about there. So there we have the finished card and I'm full of glitter. But there's your finished card with your gilded birdcage. And don't forget to feed your bird. Mm -hmm.